Welcome to Bloomington Today. I'm Kaylin Cockreel. Thanks for joining us. Now it's time to bring you the buzz on Bloomington Today for the week of July 24th through the 30th. Let's start this week in Bloomington's South Loop area as the first phase of construction at I-494 and 34th Avenue has now been completed. And on July 18th, the westbound exit ramp from I-494 reopened to motorists after a three-week closure. During that time, construction on a retaining wall began. The roadway was resurfaced and sidewalks were installed. Phase two of the project, which began July 19th, has the eastbound on-ramp to I-494 from 34th Avenue closed for commuters. Detour routes will continue to lead motorists to 24th Avenue for freeway access, as it did during Phase 1. In addition, one northbound through lane along 34th Avenue will be closed during this phase. Phase 2 is expected to take about three weeks, weather depending. Well, dig out your albums and old shoe boxes full of photos. The Bloomington Convention and Visitors Bureau is offering prizes for pictures. Residents are encouraged to share photos that capture the best way to define Bloomington, Minnesota. That means parks, shops, the Mall of America, or the Bloomington Family Aquatic Center. The Visitors Bureau wants to capture these moments in time. Prizes for the best photos include gift cards for the Mall of America and attraction passes. All submissions must be sent by July 31st. Voting will take place on August 4th through the 12th. And according to the DNR, the Canadian goose population in Minnesota is at an all-time high. And in Bloomington, residents can help keep those numbers under control by simply knowing and obeying the city statute in place. According to the code, no person shall feed or allow the feeding of wild animals such as ducks, geese, and even turkeys. According to Public Works officials, what residents don't realize is that feeding waterfowl may actually be harmful to their health rather than beneficial. These animals require specific nutrition to survive Minnesota winters, and popular feeding foods like bread, crackers, and popcorn are low in nutrition and can cause disease. Dependency is also a common factor when feeding wildlife. Geese and mallards will congregate in areas where feeding often occurs, and as a result of that, there can be overpopulation, delayed migration, pollution, and loss of natural fear of humans. Goose control studies are being conducted at this time to determine if population levels are acceptable in several city parks. The Bloomington Police Department is currently looking for candidates for the Police Reserve Program. Reserves work alongside sworn officers and assist with daily police activities. Candidates must be at least 18 years old, have a valid driver's license, be able to pass a background check, and have no felony convictions. Reserve officers must also complete a 10-week training course where they'll receive first responder certification and use of force training. Applications are available on the city's website. Keyword search Police Reserve to download yours today. And that is the buzz on Bloomington today for the week of July 24th through the 30th. Thanks for joining us.